Hi Libra, how are you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your weekly love and romance check-in forecast for the month of December 2020, my Libra love. So be sure to give this video a like, okay? Like the video and also comment at your earliest convenience. You know the deal with the subscriber thing. You don't have to subscribe right away. That's not something I, I feel like you should just subscribe when you feel like you want to subscribe to somebody and when you feel a connection. Um, and then when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so that you can be notified about all my future uploads and you don't miss them, okay? So they don't go missing in your newsfeed and you're aware that they're up there. Even if you don't watch it right away, you know it's up, all right? Um, you know, YouTube changes its guidelines sometimes. And so it's sometimes it's really good to be in the know. So you don't, you're not like, oh, I didn't even know that they uploaded, okay? So yes, you guys, this is for the second week of December 2020, my loves. This is um, soulmate, twin flame sorts of readings. So this is about soulmate, twin flame connections. Okay, so that's the present energy. This is the energy that couples with the present energy, but it also my guides are saying it's also attached to the near future and it is near future energy vibes, Libra. So, and then this is the root of the reading. All right. And this is in the perspective of this other person or your person. All right. This is what they're feeling for the connection this week or how they're seeing the this week in their eyes. Oh, wow. I'm going to leave this turned upside down, but wow. You guys got good, 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 good energy. Um, Libra, for your this person, they also feel good energy off of you. And um, you've got good energy in this connection this week. All is well. All right. So let's get into the reading. I'm trying to think, am I missing anything? Am I, no, I'm not missing anything. All right, so you guys, let's go. All right, so in the distant past, we have the high priestess energy. Okay, okay, okay. That's a great thing to have. That's a great seed to plant anything with, is with truth and trust in the universe and also divine wisdom and knowledge. In the recent past, we have the devil, this person feeling. So in the distant past, I feel as though this person knew that you guys were meant to be together. Something in them just told them that you were the one, you know? But then in the recent past, they definitely fought it, Libra. I don't know why it's easier to read for Libra for me. And Gemini, oh, easy for me to read for air signs. I'm an air sign though, my son. So this person, they just, they just knew that you guys were meant to be together. Like something in them was just like, we're meant to be together. Like, you know, that's it. But also that they needed to leave behind other things in order to do it. Like something in them told them like, you can't just be with Libra. Like you have to let go of certain things to be with Libra. And the reason why is because there, were, there would have been some things that they had in their life that would have blocked the connection. And so they needed to let it go to bring healing. And they were hiding from those things as well, right? So they needed to really kind of take a look at themselves because I feel like some part of themselves has been blocking you guys, you guys from being together, some part of them that they've been holding on to. So we have the devil energy showing up here in the recent past, which was them doubting the connection in the recent past. And it's because like, they didn't realize that certain things needed to go. Like they didn't realize that certain um, people, places, things, certain um, things that they were holding on to, like their comfort zone, some parts of their comfort zone were not really born out of love and, and appreciation they were born out of fear right and it's because they needed to make a judgment on these things like there's things that like they were holding on to that brought them peace of mind that actually were not that actually were causing them to feel depressed you know and even though yes they were used to holding on to these things and they feel a sense of duty and obligation towards these things and people um or they, yeah they feel like they need to be like that it was exhausting them and it would have put a strain on the connection because the connection Libra you're showing up as the Empress. I mean, you're all abundant and you're beautiful and you're a master attractor and you're all these amazing things. And so if you're the one that they're supposed to be with, if you're the one who's supposed to be the wife, I mean, the Empress is not a single lady. Like she's not single. <laughs> like she's not like, even if she's saying she's single, she's not something is married to this woman whether it's God or the universe, or I'm not even kidding, <laughs> or it's like, I don't know, someone else, someone else feels like they want to protect her. But usually when you see an empress type, you better believe that there's an emperor not far by. And this person, I feel like they wanted to be that emperor in your life. And so they need to, or they, they're supposed to be, you know what I mean? Like something, this high priestess energy, it told them everything they needed to know. They, they know. 
They know better. They know better, right? They know, right? So they know that they need to step it up, right? All right. So in the, in the recent past, it was a lot of spiritual interference in this person's life where their their desires were, dri were driven up, but also their fears were also exacerbated as well because they needed to confront it. And it was because they needed, like it needed to, a tower moment was forced into their life is what I'm, it was what I'm essentially trying to get at, right? For them to become like this king of wands type, this bold type that was just like, you just got to be bold. Like king of wands is bold despite anything. Like the king of wands goes through so much stuff and he's, you know, he's not for play play still and he still will laugh with you and he still he goes through the craziest things you know and that you know and that's how he becomes a king of wands and that's what this person is fixing to be right so the present energy is the hermit yes i'm not surprised presently this person is withdrawn from the connection not because they don't like you libra not because they don't like libra okay but because they need to look within right the five of swords and the five of pentacles they need to look within they need to look within, right? Because they need to look at the five of swords, right? So times in which they felt defeated and times in which, like seeing how the five of swords energy actually served them and how the five of pentacles energy actually served them, how maybe poverty served them and how maybe strife served them, right? They need to look within for that. I also feel like you're also looking within too. And I also feel like a lot of you guys may have withdrawn from this person. Like you may be the one triggering this um, hermit energy into their life because you're just like not really sitting there ready to baby them. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that wants to sit there. All right. So you're not, you're not sitting there wanting to baby them. You're not sitting there wanting to baby them. Right. So let's have a look at why we have this hermit energy. The eight of swords reverse. So they could come out of a limiting belief system. Whatever belief system they had that was keeping them in this devil energy that caused them to be a devil energy so big that their intuition literally showed up in the distant past and said, this is the person you're going to be with. And I'm seeing like the woman, the feminine party of the four of wands showing up. And I'm not saying every person that watches my readings are a feminine, right? But I am seeing the feminine party showing up, looking at me in this, in this car. I'm looking at her. She's looking at me and something came to them, some spirit that just knows everything and was like, yo, that's the one you're supposed to be with and just pulled off and gave, gave them absolutely no doubt that this was supposed to be the person and they still had the nerve to sit there in doubt right and why do they have the nerve to sit there in doubt because they felt they were like well what if i lose what if they hurt me and they have to learn the lessons of being hurt and they're also like well what if they shut me out what if they abandon me they have to learn the lessons of being abandoned in the sense that nobody really abandoned you you know what i mean like yeah they left but like you went and you you got better you became better than you were before you even met them that's what happened. You grew. Fives are for growth. When you had the five of swords energy happen and you had to fight, right? Or somebody fought you and like you lost, whether you were the person who was fighting, because you could see even his face in this picture, he said that he had to fight. He said he had to fight. Both of them look sad. Like, no, like none of them, like, they don't look happy. Neither one. So it's like, I mean, he didn't win. Like the, per the person who did that before, they didn't win. I also feel like for some of you guys, they, this person may be wanting to come back to you and it might just be around that time, but they also need to look at how they wronged you. Like, and then they're looking at that. And I feel like that's what's stopping them from coming back because they're like, but I wronged Libra, you know? But it's like, I mean, we all get hurt. We all do. Now, some of you guys, you may have shot ice this person out. I was literally think, thinking ice before I looked at my deck and I just saw the Queen of Swords. So you may have iced this person out of your life. You may be just like having stronger, firmer boundaries with this person. And it's really hurting them. But they need to break out of something. And I feel like whatever they were doing, it was, it was messing with your happiness. And like, as a Libra, I know you can't stand when people upset your balance. And this person was upsetting your balance. They were. Like their antics, the things that they were doing, the things that they were refraining from doing it was really it was really upsetting your balance you know so you had to do what you i feel like you did something you were like nah i'm done or maybe you cussed them out <laughs> you know your mouth went crazy and it's because like you they may need to realize how they trapped you how waiting for you or waiting for them trapped you and they need to realize that like you sometimes i feel like you can't just sit there and talk and talk and talk. And that's why I'm not a fan of like, always, every time something happens, why don't you just talk to him? Why don't you just, because sometimes it's like, when you talk like 18 times, 
It's like, they don't want to understand you. Let them go and be alone and think. You know what I mean? Remember they used to put us in timeout when we was little? Remember when we were young? And they put us in timeout. They'd be like, go to timeout. You know? And spirits said, ring the bell, right? What did timeout do? What did it do? You thought. You finally could think. Because this person is so karmic sometimes. Like, they're stuck in a mental karmic pattern. And it's like their first thing that they want to do is just not not deal with things head on like they always like to stay on the surface and that's fine for libra but like it's you know deep down that it was upsetting you because these are things that they need to be dealt with or what the hell are we doing together you know what i mean like and i feel like you really went off on this person and like because you're protecting yourself like it's not about them all the time sometimes it's not about i don't want to hurt their feelings but they're hurting your feelings so go off go off, you know, but at the same time, like, go off with, with a, you know, with a, um, what's it called, a direction, you know, <laughs> but also, I feel like you already did this, I'm not telling you to go off, you know, but if you did go off, you know what I mean, but this person, they're really reflecting in on just times in which they felt shut out, times in which they felt abandoned, their abandonment wounds, lack, maybe they felt broke, and they didn't have money, and they felt like they were the only person in the world without money and they didn't see opportunities. It was, it was in a lot of opportunities, but there were some opportunities, but they didn't see it or the opportunities were small and they could have grown and they did grow. Cause I feel like this is the past energy. They have to reflect on it and deal with it because it really is something that still haunts them. And they need to learn the lessons of that because them not having learned the lessons of that is what's blocking the connection. That's what's cooking up that fear in the recent past that honestly I'm hearing it's still there. You know, it just started in the recent past, but it's still there. And the tower is saying, it still hasn't been torn down. We've been trying everything to tear it down. It still hasn't been because they're just running for themselves. So you safeguarding your energy and choosing your happiness and be like, listen, me even talking to you makes me unhappy. I'm not going to talk to you. They're now going to go within and figure themselves out, right? So we have the eight of cups reverse. They really need to walk away from doing things a certain way. They have a really bad habits. They have really bad habits when it comes to relationships and they have a, a, limit, a limiting belief system when it comes to relationships. And you guys being apart, you being like, nah, it really helped them to go within, right? Because no, nobody's perfect. So in their conscious thoughts and their desires when it comes to this connection is the lovers. They want to be with you. They want to be with you. They want, they want to reunite. This person's a very like, I'm hearing sexual person, right? I, I can't say too much of that on YouTube. But they're a very sexual person and they really like being with you in that way. And I feel like, even though, like, you might like it too, you, you know when to be like, nah, like, what are you running from? You know when you're overindulging in stuff and you know, because you're a Libra, you can tell when, like, you're off balance and you're like, nah, nah, like, I'm, I'm covering something up. I know I am. You know, whereas this person, it could be a fire sign, it could be Capricorn, it could be Gemini, they could be Aquarius, right? It could be Scorpio, heavy Scorpio energy, right? Mars, or whatever sign they are, it could be very Martian right? Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Virgo. But I'm seeing air and earth steady in this reading. Air and earth steady and a splash of fire, but air and earth, Libra, air and earth, um, and water, a splash of water, right? And I feel like they need to look within with this because they need to walk away from that stuff. They really do. They need to heal, and it's keeping them trapped. Like they're really trapped in a, in a paradigm. It's like the whole world around them is sunny and over their head is like a cloud. And it's like, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? They need to figure that out. All right. So, but they're, what they're intending and what they're wanting for the connection is the lovers is to reunite, is to be together, is to, is to, you know, do whatever, you know, they also may have a choice between two people. I highly doubt that, though. I'm not getting that strongly off of the people you're dealing with, Libra. I highly doubt. I don't feel it very strongly. I just feel like they just have a choice between two paths. And one path includes you, one path does not. Because I feel like you're not not with them or you're not not talking to them right now because there's another person. You're not talking to them right now because they have a bad habit and it upsets you. And because of that, if they stay in that pattern of doing things, you're not going to go in that path with them. So they're going to have to go in a different path without you. Whereas they know where their heart lies. Their heart lies with you. But for some reason, they keep not being with their heart. And it's because of this fear that they're confronting this week. 
Ace of Swords, they're definitely confronting this fear this week because the love is stronger. When I see the devil with the lovers, I see us breaking out of something big, something big, right? Because the devil and the lovers are both number six and they both, they play off of each other. I mean, how would you know to follow your heart, right? If you didn't have fears, whatever, or, you know, whatever, you know, they play off each other. So now this person is like, I know where I need to be and I know where I need to go. And they're, the star has been trying to guide them. The star has been guiding them. They have not realized that this is guidance from the universe. They more so, they're seeing it in a negative way, but hopefully in time they will see it in a positive light. But the star has been guiding them. And I just want to see what it's been guiding them to do. And I, I guess I'm getting at something around a decision, right? What has the star been guiding this person to do? And it's the two of swords again, to make a decision, to make a decision. And they are going to make the right decision, right? because they're going to eventually fall into trust, but just for this week, they're just, I mean, we're looking at the week, right? So what's coming in in the near future with this person between the two of you guys in the second week of December, 2020? First card we have here is the Queen of Wands and the Chariot. Wow, 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 bro. So they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you. They're coming towards you hot, man. Because they just see your confidence. What else do we have here? We have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So coming at you with love and passion and desire. They see your confidence. Now, the only thing for me is I'm like, okay, where's the pinnacle? You know what I mean? But I also feel like spirit is like, that's, you got to just wait. It's just not the time for that right now. Like, honestly, I know it sounds like what, but it really just isn't the time for that right now. That's what it's looking like. But they're coming to you this week with a lot of passion and with a lot of love. And this was like, after, this is after a long battle, this person has been going through a battle within themselves between warring between fear and love. And, and it's been triggering the crap out of them this week and probably from last week too. And now they're coming right in, recognizing you for who you are and having an undeniable attraction to you to the point where they cannot deny it. They have to say it. They have to say it. And I feel like this person, they have been hiding that. They've been trying to be like, oh no, I don't care. Or, oh, no, just keep it on the surface. But it's like, Libra, you can see deeper than that. And you're like, I'm tired of being on the surface. I'm tired of it. I've been here too long, and I'm too valuable to be a surface-level bitch. I'm not a surface-level dude or, or a lady. You know what I mean? I'm a queen of pentacles. I have a lot of value. I have a lot of value in me. I'm an empress. I, I'm every woman, all right? And you're lucky to have me. And I feel like you just withdrawing. It really makes it. And here's the ace of pentacles. That's what I'm seeing now. You withdraw, because some of you guys, you may not fully withdraw, but if you withdraw, they really will, they really will see your full on value. And like, they really will realize how much you're worth. They really will. But you need that confidence. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you, you guys don't have that confidence either. You know, you don't have that confidence either. So get the confidence, you know? Get the confidence and don't put up with stuff that you don't like. It's not like you have to be trying to be somebody that you're not, but if it's annoying you to your core, <laughs> And it's something that you really get pissed off about. Stop dealing with it. Stop. Your happiness matters. Your happiness matters more. It does. Because that joy is the key to everything. It is. If you're not happy, what are you doing? I've been depressed. I've been ecstatic. Right? I got a lot more done when I was ecstatic than I did when I was depressed. I promise you. You don't get stuff done when you're depressed. You lay in bed all day long. Right? You feel defeated all day long. Come on. You know? No. Choose yourself. Choose yourself. Because this person is mad selfish with these fears because they already knew they know better. That's what I keep hearing. They keep saying they know better. Like they knew, they know who you are. They know spirit already told them in the distant past that you're supposed to be the person that they're supposed to marry is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing marry. And they're still acting stupid. So you just have to block them out. Whatever you feel like you want to do, do it. Because I feel like all of you guys may feel differently, right? And that's whatever it is. I'm not telling you how to be in your relationship. But some of you guys may be feeling like, I just need to not talk to them. And if you feel like that, and you genuinely feel that way, and you're not just like in your bag and upset, whatever, then stop talking to them. But if you feel like, you know, whatever you feel like you want to do, just do it. If you feel like you need to not talking to them will help you to calm down, then whatever do whatever you want don't do anything because i told you to do it i'm literally just reading the cards right but all i'm saying is the choice that you make is the right choice that's all i'm saying libra all right this is nice this is very nice all right so finally it's them it's finally them allowing what the high priestess shows up again what this near future energy is is them just accepting what their intuition already told them it's them just accepting within themselves 
that the two of yous are meant to be together. And that's it. And that's it. Okay, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. There's no other ways up and down around it. That's just it. You're meant to be together. So stop. Like, you don't have to hide yourself. I feel like this person has been so used to hiding themselves. They don't have to hide themselves. And the hiding of themselves has been what has been pissing you off. And I feel like they're coming in because they feel that separation from you. The Three of Swords is showing up two times around this, um, around the Y area of this reading. And it's like this, whatever you decided to do, maybe you going into your own comfort zone and you just going within yourself and being like, I'm going to take the opportunity the spirit has in front of me and learn and just do me. And that makes me happier. That makes me feel better. Like, I feel like this person, you just, whatever this person does, it just makes you feel bad. And you just value how you feel more now. So you're just not going to do it anymore. And you're not going to sit there and let that energy come in and throw you off because you're choosing yourself. And because you chose yourself, it triggers this person into, you know, choosing themselves and realizing that how they feel is important and how they have not been choosing themselves by ignoring their emotions. They're not choosing themselves. They're not. When you ignore your emotions, who are you choosing? What are you paying attention to when you ignore your emotions? What are you paying attention to then? The pain? You're choosing the pain over how you feel? Is that logical? You know what I mean? Like, you got to trust your gut and like, stop. Stop it. That's stop. Stop. You know what I mean? Stop. Yeah, you know better. <laughs> you know better, Libra. And so does this person. So I feel like choose your heart, choose your peace. A lot of you, you guys know that you love this person. You guys know that you guys are soulmates. You guys know you guys are meant to be together. So whatever just choose that instead of um you know trying to make something work and trying to convince them and then it's just upsetting you it's making anger at this person just choose peace okay peace works in the end all right libra all right so that's what i have for you guys this month it ends very beautifully this person comes right on in and they're like oh oh my god their intuition already told them though right they and the high priestess was underneath it was the root of the reading so they were always supposed to be going within, right? They were just like not trying to do it, but they were always supposed to be going within. And now they finally are because of you. So that's what I have for you guys, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm the spiritual Barbie, okay? And um, if you wanna connect me further, my information's in the description bar down below. Um, I don't know how long I'll have certain services, you guys, they change. So if you want, if you're interested in it, and doing it, just do it. I don't take every client though. So don't be annoyed if I don't take you or if I don't take on your work. Cause sometimes it's like, you just don't need a reading on that. <laughs> I can tell you, I can tell you right now, you don't need that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't want people wasting their time or their money, you know, because whatever, everybody has a different relationship with their money. And I don't know your situation, but I just don't want it. To, I'm not, I'm not, I don't do this for the money. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. You could do it for whatever reason you want to do. I don't do it for the money. All right. So God bless you guys. I'll talk to you guys next week for a week 3.0. Um, make sure you check out the monthlies. Make sure you check out last week's. If you weren't watching last week's and you want this week, what are you doing? Like, why are you not supporting me? What's going on? You know what I mean? And make sure you like the video. I hope you like that video. Okay. I hope you commented down below in the description bar. Okay. I mean, in the comment section. I also hope that you subscribe. If you know damn well, you should subscribe to this channel. I know. I really hope you subscribed. And I really, really hope that you hit that bell. Okay. So you're notified as well, you guys. All right. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys for week three. Um, and I'm really excited to see how you guys are doing and how the situation is playing out in you guys' lives. So keep those comments coming. I read them all the time. And I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.